Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans and welcome back to another video. And what we've seen over the past couple of weeks is comments online and on our videos saying, well, we don't have some of the media that's sent to us on WhatsApp in our gallery. And this is both for iPhone and Android as well. So we thought let's do a video and help you guys see that media that you're sent on WhatsApp appear in your gallery on your iPhone and your Android. But before we get into today's video, if you're new around here and have never seen one of our videos before, then why not subscribe to the channel like the video and of course hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we do a new video but for today let's get straight into the video So many people around the world use WhatsApp now to send videos and pictures to their friends and family. And sometimes what will happen is you'll go into a gallery and you'll actually realize that you can't see the photos or videos that you were sent. And I've had this problem myself and so have so many others. So let's tell you how you can fix that on your Android and iPhone. And the first thing is to turn it off and turn it back on again. Sometimes this is just the simplest fix and this sometimes just fixes everything nice and easily. So if you have an Android phone, this is how you do it. Just hold the power button of the Android device until that screen appears on the front and select the option to either restart or power off and then you can just power it on again. So a really nice, simple, easy fix for Android. And for iPhone, it's kind of similar, but go into your settings, go to general and proceed to the shutdown option to turn off the device and then just continue to hold that power button after a few seconds to restart that iPhone and then maybe that will give it a fix but if it hasn't then these next steps might be just for you and let's start by showing you how to fix this and enabling the media in the gallery using Android. When using WhatsApp, what you can do is actually toggle on or off saving the media that you'll send on WhatsApp to your gallery. And sometimes this is just done by accident. So let me show you how you can actually activate this straight away by using your Android phone. Open WhatsApp on your Android and tap on the three dots icon on the top right of the screen. Select settings from the drop down menu and continue to the next screen. Go to the chat section from the options here and toggle the media visibility option. And then that will start to save your videos and photos from WhatsApp to your gallery. But on iPhone, it's just a little bit different. So just follow these steps to make sure you get that turned on on your iOS device. Open the settings on your iOS device and just scroll down until you find that option of WhatsApp. On the next screen, continue to the Photos option and toggle the All Photos permissions to allow WhatsApp media to be displayed in the gallery. And this is just the simplest fix because sometimes when you download WhatsApp, what you'll do is you won't grant the correct permissions that WhatsApp requests when you first open that app. But not to worry, now hopefully all the videos and photos that you're sent by friends and family on WhatsApp will be seen in both your Android and your iPhone's gallery. The next option is an Android option only, so sorry iPhone users, but this is to go and clear the cache on your Android device that contains all of that WhatsApp data. So if you've done everything correctly and your photos and videos still aren't saving to your gallery, then sometimes clearing that cache can really help with this problem. So instead of talking about it, let me show you exactly what you need to do. So follow the next steps. Open the settings on your Android and continue to the app section in that list of options. Then. Look for the Manage Apps option and lead to the screen containing the list of applications installed on your Android and look for WhatsApp and go to the next screen. Find the storage options on the next screen and continue to select the option of clear data. But then what will happen is that will clear all the WhatsApp cache. What this will do is just make sure that your WhatsApp is running a bit quicker and smoother. And then this will in the majority of times fix that problem where your media is not being saved to your Android gallery. Occasionally when using WhatsApp, what will happen is all those photos and videos that you'll send will be saved to a gallery, but they'll be saved to a private folder so you can't actually view them when you want to go view them, which is quite counterproductive and rubbish. But this can happen and the fix for this again is nice and simple. So just follow these next options and let's get started with Android. 
you need to access the file manager of your Android device and look for WhatsApp in the list of folders. Then continue to the media folder and look for the WhatsApp photos and images subfolder. This can look a little bit different depending on what phone you use. As you lead into the next folder, look for the private folder and select the photos in the folder. Look for the folder where you want to then paste all of those selected photos. Then just paste them into that folder and then nice and easily all those photos that you've been sent are now visible in your gallery the next option is to delete those dot no media files and this is a problem that many android users have when using whatsapp when people have sent them those files that contain those videos and those photos and again it's a really quick fix and we are here to help so this is how you would do it first of all on an android device open the file manager of your android device and look for the whatsapp folder as you tap the three dot icon on the top select the option to show hidden files look for the dot no media file in the whatsapp folder containing the media select it and then tap on the delete icon at the bottom to delete it from your device sometimes one of the easiest ways besides turning on and off your device is to make sure that your whatsapp is up to date this can cause so many problems if your update is not there for whatsapp so this is something that can be done on iphone and android it's really simple but let me just talk you through the process and show you android first open the play store on your android device and continue to tap on the profile photo at the top of the screen select the option of manage apps and devices and continue to the next screen sometimes this can look different depending on your Android device. Look for the updates option on the next screen and you'll be surprised how many updates you might have to do and just find the WhatsApp option in this list of applications and tap on update. Then that should hopefully fix that problem on your Android device but if you have an iPhone let me show you how you would do it there. Go into the app store on your iPhone once you've found it and tap the profile icon at the top right of the screen. Scroll down and make sure you find WhatsApp here. Again, you might have loads of updates, but just focus on WhatsApp, hit update, and then what will happen is your WhatsApp will start to update and hopefully fix the problem of not seeing those media files that you're sent in your gallery. And the last fix that we have for you here is that sometimes when you're using WhatsApp, you're out of storage. It's as simple as that. You might not have enough storage to be saving those images. So let me show you how you would free up that storage on your Android and iPhone device. Open WhatsApp on your phone and go to the settings option and look for storage and data in that list. Select the option of manage storage and that will take you to the next screen. And this will contain a complete overview of all of the WhatsApp storage that is being utilized. Look through the complete storage and delete any unwanted data with the options provided. And this will sometimes fix it and you can start saving all your media to your phone's gallery. Now, let's talk to you about a piece of software that you've probably heard about before, which is called Wondershare Mobile Trans. And the reason we're talking about it is because this can help using WhatsApp really, really well. If you've ever faced any issues of deleting your WhatsApp photos from your device, then there is a proper solution here and it will stop all of that data from getting lost. Wondershare Mobile Trans provides a real good technique to recover all WhatsApp photos whenever they are required. And when it starts to recover that data, it gives you a preview option of that tool as well with the help of this unique tool you can easily manage your whatsapp data and to know how to recover the whatsapp photos with the help of Wondershare mobile trans all you need to do is follow the next steps and you don't need any technical knowledge it is simple easy and efficient so let me show you launch Wondershare mobile trans after installing it and then make sure that you attach your phone to your computer with a usb cable then you need to go into backup and restore and select the option of deleted whatsapp data restore to initiate this process to do this you'll need to turn off the auto backup on your whatsapp to do this go to your settings continue to the chat section and just turn off that auto backup nice and easy allow the platform to install whatsapp on your phone and after it is installed allow the permissions for accessing your files and then add your whatsapp account and restore all the backup files continue to the next screen and find the deleted whatsapp photos that can be easily recovered it is nice 
easy and simple and then you have it all there using the tool of Wondershare Mobile Trans. And there we have it. That is everything for today's video and we've given you some really good tips on how to make sure that all those photos and videos that you're sent on WhatsApp or saved to your phone gallery if that's an Android or an iPhone. And of course, if any of this helped you out, then why not subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and turn on that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we upload here on Mobile Trans. And if you do all of that, then we'll see you in the next video.